today marks 10 years since Kyron Horman disappeared. He was last seen at his elementary school in Portland. Tonight, Fox 12's Haley Rush joins us live in studio with a message from Kyron's father. Haley? His dad remains hopeful his son will be found. He says that while statistics aren't on his side, he believes Kyron is alive because he's received no information that he isn't. As we get all these tips and all these leads and do all these searches and we don't find anything, then it, to me it evens the odds that he is still out there. I mean, why wouldn't he be? A decade later, Kane Horman is holding out hope that his son, Kyron, could come home. Let's assume he's out there. I believe he is. I believe we're still looking for him. It was June 4th, 2010, when Kyron's stepmother, Terry Moulton, says she took the then second grader to Skyline Elementary School and watched him go down the hallway to his classroom. He never got there. Moulton has never been named a suspect in the case. We're still looking for him. He's not a seven and a half, almost eight year old, you know, absolutely adorable with glasses. He's now 18 years old. Kane says he needs people to keep looking, asking everyone to check out his age progression pictures again. These cases can break on one tip, one tip, one phone call. As for investigators, Kane says they've never stopped searching, and for that, he's grateful. I don't know what else you could ask for short of bringing him home. Um, they're, they're doing everything that they can. Finally, 10 years later, he has a message for his son. We love you. We are still looking. We're, we're not giving up. We will not give up. We talk about believing in you coming home. We are absolutely going to continue until this is over. So if you get a chance to see this, we're coming, and we're not going to stop. Kane did say a lot of people focus on today, June 4th, but he wants to encourage everyone to think of Kyron beyond today. Reporting live in studio tonight, Haley Rush, Fox 12 Oregon.